want you to meet Scarlett O'Hara. Take off your hat. Myron. How do you do? My name is Vivian Lee. Well, this is a conscious decision on my part. I needed something to give me an edge over some of the other competition in Hollywood. All right, there's a million actresses. There's a million good actresses. But you got to have something that's different that they'll remember about you. So around the time I changed my name, I changed my image. And I always loved Gone with the Wind. Now, if you remember in the 70s, everybody was very basic. It was, it was hippie generation. It was kind of the grungy look, no makeup, no glamour, no nothing. I decided to go against that. I decided to do a throwback to the 1940s, pick my favorite actress, and be her. Not be her, so to speak, but take her essence. And I would present myself to casting people and directors. I'd go in with that aura, looking like Vivian Lee, with the hair, with the eyes, with the face, with the outfits, kind of that more, I guess it was more of a ladylike persona, where girls that I, were, I was going in on auditions, they were wearing torn up jeans and, you know, getting, looking like they just got out of bed. So when I walked in, I was different. And I always looked at Natalie, Natalie Wood and Vivian Lee as my two kind of idols, all right? So I took Vivian Lee and I said, this is, this is kind of what I want. One thing led to another, and John Schlesinger was casting for Day of the Locust. And a call went out for people who look like movie stars of the 40s. And I walked over to Paramount Pictures and met with the casting people, and I met with him, and I just walked in the door, and he said, it's Scarlett O'Hara. You must, must be in this film. And so even though it was a very small thing in the film, uh, he grabbed onto that and put me in Day of the Locust. That was followed up by Gable and Lombard when they were casting for uh, a couple scenes with James Brolin and... Vivian Lee and, and doing this whole thing with, with Gone with the Wind, they called because they knew I had done this thing for Schlesinger. That led to Moviola when they did the Scarlet O'Hara War. Now, story about that was I was with an agency at the time that tried to convince me not to do it. They said, you've done it already. You've played her. They, people know you. They've done that pass on this one because this is just at the end of the movie. Um, it's, it's, it's a couple of lines. It's nothing. They don't want to pay anything. I said, guys, who do you think they're going to want to see at the end of this movie? Everybody's going to watch the movie to see who, Viv who, who Scarlett O'Hara is going to be. No, 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 you're making a huge mistake. I said, I don't think so. Well, they're not going to pay anything. I said, so what? I said, you know what? Get me single card credit at the end of the movie. Guest starring Morgan Brittany. Uh, for, okay. I said, and I don't care about the money. Get me that. I want the recognition. Sure enough, we did that. I did that film. Do you know what NBC picked up out of that movie? They picked up my picture dressed as Scarlett O'Hara, it went out on every TV guide, every regional TV guide across the country. All of a sudden, everyone knew who I was. So the smallest little thing can turn into something. <laughs>